Hey, Shinheads, TJ here, and we are at the range today with a Liberty's suppressor cover called the Straight Jacket. Liberty's Defense Straight Jacket. This is a patent pending uh, heat attenuation device. See, you, you thought I couldn't remember that word, heat attenuation. So this thing is made out of four different layers of flame and heat resistant material stitched together with stainless steel thread and it's got a marine grade uh, stainless steel cable with a snap shackle so that it can be adjusted to any suppressor. Uh, so there's the reasons why you would want something like this on your suppressor or silencer, depending on what you call it, uh, is A, what I want it for is so not to burn my hands. And more importantly, when I sling my rifle, not to burn my thigh or paws. Another thing to need this for, for guys in SOCOM, is for belt-fed weapons that are suppressed. When a belt-fed weapon fires sustained suppressed fire, the suppressor gets so hot, you've seen meltdown videos, things like that, that it creates what's called a suppressor mirage on the red dot. It actually changes uh, basically your point of aim, point of impact, what you see through the optic. So this will eliminate that as well. All we have left today is a single mag of 300 blackout, 147 supersonic condition. Uh, we're gonna do, a, I've been shooting it all day, uh, but I haven't done any mag dumps. All day it's, it's maintained a lukewarm to the touch. We're wondering after a mag dump, will I still be able to hold it? And you know what? If, if I can still hold it after a mag dump, can I do my next video by actually holding the suppressor? I'm not doing it for the first time. We gotta see how it works out. Not even warm. Not even warm. Not, not, not even warm. Yeah, the next time I will shoot it holding. Unfortunately, we are out of ammo for the day. We got to switch to nine millimeter. Goddamn ammo crisis.